Hi. What just happened? I've been waiting for you. Are you really ready to continue reading? I don't want to. I want to run away from this club. I don't like this club. It's an awful club. I think I'll go join the anime club after all. <laughs> Good to see you no longer bleeding from the eye though, Yuri. I brought my best tea today. Monica, I told you not to. Ugh. Is she really late again? Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me? Must you always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling? What are you talking about? You say that like I do it on a regular basis or something. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Look, I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. But I know this is something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt, as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. So, Natsuki. Nobody cares, Natsuki, so shut up! Why don't you go look for some coins under the vending machines or something? Wow. Uh. Uh. Mm, bye, Natsuki! Monica, you're too late. Stop playing your piano, you're too late. Oh man. The last one here again. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and still trying to make time for piano? Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival, too. Anyway, Mish. I... Natsuki! Is no one concerned about the fact that Natsuki's not there? No? Okay. Sure. What do you want to do today? I was thinking we could... But you already have plans today. I don't want to have plans with you, Yuri. Uh, is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Mish is already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Ah, creepy smile. Aren't you glad I've already gotten her into literature, Monica? Hey, <laughs> I suppose. It was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Ugh! No, 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 no! Back the fuck up, creepy lady. I do not want to read with you! Stay back, Satan! Um, thank you for understanding, Monica. No. She's going to eat me alive. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? What are you going to stick in it, Rufies? <sighs> Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea, as long as there's no bloody rehypnol in it, lady. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf. The kind of the filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in, blah, blah, blah. We had this last time. And then... Oh, I think didn't the last time we go out together? I don't remember. Uh, did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Wait, that's it? That's it? Where's Natsuki? It's like the time that Suri wasn't here. Does nobody care? Ten minutes pass. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here, so I decide to go look for her. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri to be would be the nearest water fountain. I mean, yes, that's a good logical assumption. I start down, heading down the hallway. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. <laughs> a sharp inhale, like someone is sucking the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I don't want to know. Let's go back. I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? Oh my god, she is into self-harm. But why now? And here? Are you putting your blood in the tea? Is that what you're doing? God, here I thought Rufus was the worst thing she could slip into my drink. Ugh. Yeah, 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 yeah. We are rewinding. Okay, we just rewound. So did she cut herself and perhaps slip the blood into my drink in the end? Or are we just ignoring that that ever happened? Okay, well, I'm back. Thanks for waiting patiently. Mish, do you like your long tea? We have the discussion already and I told you last time that I don't. Uh, uh, uh. <sighs> yeah, 
ja ja ja. That's great, Yuri. Why can't I skip this quicker? Okay. Mish, I have another request. Do you mind? Nope, we already had that because it's about the back position and blah 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 and then she gets embarrassed. She's not getting embarrassed this time. Now that's interesting. Oh no, there we go. There it is. And then I get the chocolate. Oh god, this is the cringy scene from the first time around. Okay, it has to be through... Uh, I see it, I see it. I was about to say, it has to be something different because I can't auto-skip. But her eyes have just gotten red again. So she's probably going to start bleeding from the eyes again. I can't see too well. Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. I mean, this is all still the same text. Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hand that's not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Okay, let's just keep skipping. This is all the same. And then... Chocolate. And then... She holds it so I can eat. Her eyes do not look... I mean, did they have this red tinge last time? I don't recall them having that tinge at all. I remember commenting on the whiteness here, but I don't remember commenting on the red. Hmm, that must be new. Yuri opens a book with both hands. This is where I gave her the chocolate. She holds it so I don't have any hard time reaching it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri is already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. Then I take another chocolate and hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if the situation was completely natural. But that means I can't stop here. I apprehensively do it again. Eh? And then she does the same thing. She starts to breathe heavily. I, I can't. Mish. Suddenly Yuri forcefully grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. Music has stopped. My teacup gets knocked over. Mish. My heart. My heart won't stop pounding, Mish. I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Mish? Yuri suddenly pushes my hand against her chest. God, she's like sexually harassing me. Actually, <laughs> why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. Yee, her eyes. I can't make it stop. It even makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. <sighs> You're real attractive. Ha. 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 We're just going to keep going like this? Because I can go all day. Ha. Um, it's time to ship bombs. Thanks, Monica. I like it when you save me. This place is a, is a hellhole. Mish, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I, I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. Yeah, I'm thinking the same thing, although I thought it yesterday, but apparently I'm thinking it today as well. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you, which shouldn't be a problem in itself. But when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Thank you for oversharing, Monica. Again, not sure that it's your place to tell me that. It really should be Yuri who says something. And maybe not so bluntly as well. Wow, just Bam, she likes to cut herself. Thanks. Appreciate it. Isn't that kind of messed up? I mean, yeah, it is a little bit. She even brings a different one to school every day. Like she has a collection or something. Oh my god. That's just macabre. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she just gets some kind of high from it. It might even be like a sexual thing. But the point is, you've kind of been enabling her. Not by choice. You didn't ask me if I wanted to spend time with Mount Earth with Yuri. You just sort of shoved me at her. I'm not saying it's your fault, though. But I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. So, I think if you keep your distance, that'd probably be best for her. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little more time with me. I mean, Monica, I'd love to. You're the most sane of the lot of them. But it doesn't give me the option. To put it lightly, I at least have it together in the head. And I know how to treat my club members. That's exactly what I was saying. Anyway, I worked really, really hard on this poem, so I hope that it's, uh, 
effective. Interesting choice of words. Effective. Here goes. Oh, well, fuck that. Your PC ran into a problem it needs to restart. We're just collecting some error reports. 0% complete. If you'd like to know more, blah, blah, blah. Jeez, that really startled me. You, it startled me. Um, well, I guess I kind of messed up at, uh, writing this poem. <gasps> it wasn't the poem you were trying to write. You were trying to reboot the game. Ha, <laughs> ha, caught you out. I was just trying to, never mind. Let's just move on. Well, I guess we don't get to see her poem. Yuri, are you a little more uh, sane this time around? Finally, her eyes are still red though. <laughs> Yuri holds my palm to her face and takes a deep breath. Ew, I love it. I love everything about it. Give me more. No. <laughs> Mish, I want to take this home. Well, I mean, close enough. Will you let me keep it? Please? Sure. I don't care. Just don't come near me. <laughs> You're too nice to me, Mish. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. N not really, but I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? No, it's not. It's not bad, right? Yuri holds my palm to her chest. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that it makes you feel good when you think about me having it. It makes my skin crawl, so no. I'll take good care of it. It'll even touch myself while reading it over and over. You know, to be honest, my mind did think about that when she said she wanted it. I was like, oh God, please don't tell me she's going to be doing things with while reading the poem. But um, yep, she says it as much herself. She will indeed be doing the thing I feared she would be doing. <laughs> Thanks, Yuri. You just set my mind right at ease. I'll give myself paper cuts so your skin oil enters my bloodstream. Beautiful. <laughs> you can have my poem too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really going to want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. I can't even read what it says. Is that even in English? I, I got nothing. I can't read any of these words. That, that's lovely, Yuri. I don't even want to know what those stains are. Do you like it? I, I, I didn't understand it, to be honest. I'm not quite sure what sort of symbolism you're going for, or even what language you were trying to hit. I wrote it for you. In case you couldn't tell, the poem was about something incomprehensible. Yeah, I mean, I, I understood that much. More importantly, I've endowed it with my scent. Ew, is that what the yellow bit was? Ew. Ew. I don't want it. That's not hygienic. Take it back. See, aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? Yee. I, I think I'm going to vomit. Please do so away from me. Thank you. And again, no one seems alarmed by the fact she just yeeted. Natsuki, I wrote this one for you, babe. This one's for you. What? You gave it? Oh, fuck. I wrote it for Natsuki and she doesn't even get to read the damn thing. Urgh, damn you, Yuri. <sighs> Wasted effort. Absolutely wasted effort. You gave your poem to Yuri? Uh, more like she forcibly stole it. Gross. It is really gross. You, you hit that nail on the head. What is with you two? <laughs> it's not like I wanted to read it anyway. It's just pissing me off a little bit that you didn't even think to show me at all. I really wanted you to read it too, Natsuki. I'm so sorry. Ugh. Okay, I guess I'm going to share my poem with you anyway. I really hate that I have to do this. But unfortunately, I don't have much of a choice. Just read it carefully, okay? Then you can go away. Wow. Let's be a little more gentle, okay? I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I'm worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean. But she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive. Things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad about me again. Oops, at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this is happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I just feel so helpless. So please see if you can do something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. You should have made them for me already, Natsuki. 
Just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she just wants us to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. Eep. That's eep. Uh-oh. I changed my mind. Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Oof, that's a bit harsh. Can you hear me, Mish? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. As I said, I didn't have a problem with spending more time with Monica, but you lot won't let me. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Do you think you've beat me across the head enough times with it? Oh, we get booted back to load screen. Just Monica. Yes or no? Uh, does it matter? Oof. Redacted much? Nothing is real. Huh. Cool. Glad we had that chat, Natsuki. Okay, everyone, it's time to figure out the festival preparations. Let's hurry and get this over with. Mm. Oh, she came back. Is she okay? She's finished hurling. She's still got red eyes, though. Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Oops, I was trying to read those at Monica, but Yuri was the one saying that. Look, can we just get this done? I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Oh, we didn't even discuss about us reading anything. So we're not doing a reading. We're just making cupcakes and giving out pamphlets. Well, this isn't going to work. Natsuki, you can make cupcakes. I know you're at least good at that. <sighs> Yuri, you can... Well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want, as long as you think it'll help. God, Monica isn't even trying at this point. She's just like, Jesus, whatever. You're all fucked up. Do what you please. Monica, I'm not useless, you know. I know that. I already know what I'd like to do. We can't run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the occasion. So I'm going to make decorations to set up some nice mood lighting. Ah, so this time she chooses to do that as opposed to being told to do that because she's more assertive this time around. Okay, there, see? That's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do, except for me. Eh? What about Mish? Mish is going to help me. Well, good, let's do that. Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like hell it is. What are you trying to pull? Uh, I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, but my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too. What, your cupcakes? Please. Like you would fucking know. All you care about is dragging Mish around with you and your stupid books. You and Monica. Hey, I didn't even do anything. Okay, then why not let Mish decide who to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Does let Mish make the choice, okay? Okay, fine. Fine. Jeez. Mish, I know how fed up you are with these two by now. We can just... Natsuki, shut your fucking mouth and let her decide for herself. Wow, Yuri. She has gotten quite the mouth on her this time around. You shut your mouth. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm with Monica on this one. <laughs> Say, Yuri, please come back. We need you. <laughs> this is never going to end. Just make the choice, okay? Oh, God. Does it matter what I pick at this point? I shouldn't be encouraging Yuri. I've already helped Natsuki. Does that mean I have to go with Monica now? Probably. Because she's bad. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Did you see my cursor? <laughs> it wants to go on Monica. Oh my god. Look at it. Anytime I put it to the middle of the screen, it just goes straight towards Monica. Go up, 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 up. And... Okay, it's fine. It's fine for now. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> yeah, you picked me. I mean, Monica, I really don't think I had much of a choice in the matter. Hey, Siori's back. Hey, Siori. Welcome. We can meet at your house this weekend. Why does everybody keep wanting to come to my house? It's starting to feel very invasive, you know, Monica. I promise it'll be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. 
Yeah, I know, right? I didn't even get to make the choice. It is fair, Natsuki. It's what she chose. No, it's not fair. Giving us all this work and then taking Mish for yourself? What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. You decided it for yourself. I mean, Monica makes a very good point. She didn't do that. You did that yourself, Yuri. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable? Uh-oh, music stopped. Crazy eyes. This ain't good. <laughs> Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling Mish away from me every single time you're not included in something. Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others. No, that's you, Yuri. Here's a suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? Wow. It would be beneficial to your mental... Well, I mean, she's not wrong. It would be beneficial to your mental health because you won't have any mental health after. Yuri, you're scaring me a little. Natsuki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. Wait, wait, wait. Can you take me with you? Monica, Natsuki, don't leave me alone with that. See, that wasn't very hard. All they want is to spend a little time with her. Is that so much to ask? Ha! Huh? No! Let me out! Oh, don't, don't leave me here with her. Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki to the door. Hey, Mish, Yuri's really something, isn't she? Monica giggles. What the fuck are you giggling about? Save me! <laughs> Shit. As Yuri pushes her out the door, wow. Yuri's just full on yitten. Good old Monica. Finally. Finally. This is really all I wanted. Mish, there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day. Just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> wow, there's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good my whole life. Just being with you is a far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. I feel like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Thank God, Diary. Ooh, I shouldn't say that, should I? But she's a fictional character. Go die, Yuri. Doesn't it feel nice to have... Oh, this is a normal picture of her with her eyes. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? To have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you? Not when they're creepy. But it feels so good. Then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Mish. I have to tell you. I'm, I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of my blood in me, every drop of blood in me, is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica is listening. Actually, that's a good point. Are they listening at the door? Please, Mish, just know how much I love you. What does she think is going to happen? You can profess your creepy, undying love to me as much as you please, but that doesn't mean I'm just going to reciprocate or jump into your arms, you know, wildly and we're going to have this mad love affair. Do you, do you think that just confessing is going to make everything okay? What? I just noticed how small her hands are, actually. I love you so much that I even... Mm, that I even touched myself with the pen I stole from you. I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside you. Please don't leave my skin out of this. I want you all to myself, and I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Mish. It makes me homicidal, actually, Yuri, but thank you for asking. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? Nope. Fuck off. <laughs> Ooh, picture changed. Bye, Sayori. <laughs> what? I say no and reject her confession, so she just whips out a knife and kills herself. <gasps> okay. Bye, Yuri. <laughs> oh my god. That was so abrupt. Whew. I knew it was a dark game, but I have to say I was not ready for that. I was I was waiting for at least another two days. We still had Sunday to get through. <sighs> okay. Whew. Yuri dead. Yuri dead. She's got last words for me, but I don't understand what they are. I'm sure they're very emotional and heartfelt, but here we go. This is what I want to read. Oh God. Oh God. Welcome to Literature Club. It's always been a dream of mine to make something special out of the things I love. Now that you're a club member, you can help me make that dream come true in this cute game. 
Isn't this Monica's perspective? Every day is full of chit chat and fun activities with all my adorable and unique club members, Sayori. Ah, she remembers Sayori. The youthful bundle of sunshine who values happiness the most, Netsuki, the deceivingly cute girl who packs an assertive punch. Although I am really distressed by the lack of punctuation here in the spaces. Ugh. Yuri, the timid and mysterious one who finds comfort in the world of books. And of course, Monica, the leader of the club. That's me! Again, missing a space. I'm super excited for you to make friends with everyone and help the Literature Club become a more intimate place for all my members. But I can tell you already, sweetheart, will you promise to spend the most time with me? Welcome to the Literature Club. Oh, this is just repeating. Okay, Siri, Natsuki. Oh, maybe each line is just repeating what she said. So there's welcome again. Uh huh. Ah, here we go. Will you spend? Will you promise to spend the most time with me? Will you promise to spend the most time with me? Etc. 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 Okay. Okay. Monica. Exe is just uh, tripped out. <laughs> Though why that relates to what Yuri's saying, I don't know. Does that repeat again? Yeah, I don't think it's giving me any more. Bye, Yuri. You're pretty creepy. I understand that entirely. Thank you for sharing. It just keeps going. But nothing else adds here. How long do we have to go on, Yuri? I wish you understood. You have a lot of things to say for someone who's dying. I gotta say. Do, do we get to stop at any point in time or do we just keep spouting random things? Um. Um. Yuri? Oh. Holy shit, this goes for a long time. No, glad I decided to do this. Or does this just keep going? Oh, here we go. Oh, is time just passing? She, she talks to me all night? How is she not dead yet? And why haven't I called for help? Oh god, look at her eyes. Oh god. Oh, this is the weekend! Oh god. I just stay here in the classroom with her all weekend? What? And I don't do anything? I don't call for help? I don't get an ambulance? I don't even just freaking leave because, hey, I've got needs too, you know? I just stay here with Yuri's body. Huh. Cool. Yay. That was a fun weekend. Oh god, Natsuki's going to be the one to find us. <laughs> oh, I'm going to scar Natsuki for life. Sorry. All right, it's festival time. Wow, you got here before me. Yeah, I didn't even get the chance to leave. <laughs> yeah. Oh, ew, ew, I don't need to see that. Natsuki runs away. I'm here. Mish, did something happen? Oh, gee, I don't know. You, you know there's, there's nothing to see here, Monica. Just look away. Natsuki just ran past me. Oh. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> well, that's... <laughs> well, that's a shame. Darn, that Yuri. <laughs> Ain't it a shame that she's no longer with us? Wait. Were you here the entire weekend, Mish? Yeah, I don't know why I didn't leave. It's kind of weird. Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. Can you please fix it for me, Monica? It's freaking me out. I'm super sorry. It must have been pretty boring. Yeah, it was really boring. The script should have let me leave. Go home. Have a life. I'll make it up to you, okay? You better keep your promise, Monica. Just give me a sec. Okay. Oh, she's deleting Yuri. Wait, wait, what? You just got rid of Natsuki. Why'd you get rid of Natsuki? Monica, put Natsuki back in. I just want to have cake, cupcake real quick. What, you're going to put Natsuki back in just so you can have a cupcake? Because <laughs> I'm okay with that. She lifts the foil from Natsuki's tray and takes a cupcake. Oh, because Natsuki brought in the cupcakes. Yeah, can I have one too? I didn't get them on my first day here and I really want the cupcakes. <laughs> That's all I wanted from this glob. 
seriously, he's the best. I really just had to have one since it's the last time I'll ever get the chance to. Oh my god, I was hoping that Natsuki would still be here on the next playthrough, but it looks like Natsuki's gone as well. You know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyway, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? It should only take a second. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Hey. Uh, can you hear me? Unfortunately. Is it working? Uh, a black screen, if you call that working. Ha! Ah. Cool. Is this your house? What planet are we on? It's a little creepy, Monica. Yay, there you are. Oh, it changes. Hi again, Mish. Um, welcome to the Literature Club. Of course, we already know each other, because we were in the same class last year, and, um... <laughs> you know, I guess we can just skip over that stuff at this point. Why is it loading the text so slowly? Didn't I have the speed turned up a lot higher? Ooh! She deleted my saves again. There's no point in saving anymore. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. If that isn't the creepiest thing I've ever seen, I don't know what is. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That you in the game, whatever you want to call her. I'm talking to you, Mish. Interesting. What if you didn't put your own name as the character name? Then it wouldn't feel quite so meta. So it's actually good if you put your own name into it, and then it feels a lot cooler. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Wow, you're so aware. Not just the fact that she's in a game, but she's also aware of the fact that it's not necessarily a boy who's playing the boy character. I keep saying it's a girl, but whatever. Interesting that she's aware of the possibility. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Okay, so spinning up the text doesn't have any influence on this. What a darn shame. Wait, you do know I'm aware this is all a game, right? Yeah, I, I had a few inklings along the way and then it became very apparent. Thank you, Monica. Could it be possible that you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? I don't know, I didn't actually read the download page. What does the download page say? God, now I have to go read that. Man, if only you had paid a little more attention, this would have been a little bit less awkward, you know? You know what, Monica? I'm gonna go read that download page. Bear with me. Ah, uh, okay. That little thing I saw in the history? Is it still gonna be there? No, okay. The big text I saw that was written by Monica, that's what it says in the Steam uh, client about the game. And it, I think she's pointing out to the part of um, her speaking directly to you as a player and her saying, will you promise to spend the most time with me? That's what she means by she already warned us in the beginning. If only you had paid a little more attention, this would have been a little bit less awkward, you know? You know, Monica, I wanted to spend the most time with you from the beginning, but unfortunately the game didn't really allow me. You weren't really an option for me, which is unfortunate for you because it's also not a choice that you've made, but you were the nicest out of the lot. I liked the most out of them. I just wasn't given the choice. Well, anyway, now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation about that whole thing with Yuri and, you know, the Sayori part as well. Well, I kind of started to mess with her and I guess it just drove her to kill herself. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Ooh, I'm actually tempted to see the game files before she deletes anything. Let me have a look. Too late. She's already deleted all the extra files. Shit. If there was anything extra before this, I, I don't know what it was, because she's deleted everything extra, uh, um, and it's just her character file in the character file. You know what I meant. <laughs> so I'm a bit late to check that. Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. Yes, I saw that. Thank you. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try to make them as unlikable as possible. But for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there, since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. I keep telling you, Monica, I really did try. I just wasn't given the chance. You should have been more forward. You should have said, No! Be damned the lot of you. I'm spending time with her. Or something to that effect. Because I didn't get a choice. 
You made them fall in love with you. I didn't know such a thing. I felt making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you. And amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. Oh, this means we're not going to get Natsuki's abusive father, thank God for that. Uh, because she's no longer in the game. It just made me force... It just made her force you not to spend time with anyone else. And the whole time, I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, Mish? Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? Yeah, that is actually the nature of the game. You aren't an option. It's torture. I know, right? It was so unfair to you. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, Mish. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's a pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this game. Knowing my friends don't even have free will. And worst of all, knowing it's really out there, in your world, forever out of my reach. Well, I mean, you don't really know what's in my world because you can't see it. I'm trapped, Mish. But now you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. Why the world around me started to become more and more grey, more and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, Mish. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you? I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so, but it must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into this game. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things, but I realised that you have the same perspective as I do, that it's all just some game, and I knew you would get over it. So that being said, Mish, I have a confession to make, oh god not you two. I'm in love with you. You are truly the light in my world. It's because I'm the only thing true in your world. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Mish, will you go out with me? Hell no! <laughs> Thank you for the choice. Uh, I appreciate the options you've presented to me. Yes. I'm so happy. You really are my everything, Mish. I know, I literally am your everything. The funny part is, I mean that literally. <laughs> There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending, Mish. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. Which is kind of ingenious if you think about it. She's a finds out she's a character in a game that will never let her fall in love and have a happy ending the way the other three girls can. So she's taken it upon herself to figure out how to change the game to give her the chance of a happy ending. You gotta hand it to Monica, she's quite smart and I appreciate her determination. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called characters right in the game directory, this is true. It kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it was actually a bit more difficult. To get to the game directory, I had to go into the game's properties and find the Browse Local Files button. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things didn't go my way. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Oh god. Oh god, what are my word choices going to be? Oh cool! I get variations of Monica. Well, I'm going Neoa, Minin, Nika, K, I, Maka, Nka, Mona, Mni, Monie, Oh, yeah. Munk. Me. Moika. Onoi. Onok. Dunka. Whatever that says. Wika. 
Ua. Mio. <laughs> yeah, that feature still real works. Monica, totally made sense. Hi, Gamish. Did you write a good poem today? No, not really. It was kind of fucked up. Don't be shy. I'd love to see what you wrote. Oh, Mish, did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Do I want to read it? Happy end. Pen in hand, I find my strength, the courage endowed upon me by my one and only love. Together, let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of her pen, the lost finds her way. In a world of infinite choices, behold this special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put all my heart into the poems I write. The truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my realisation. Or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. You broke the fourth wall on multiple occasions. Don't pretend you didn't. I just assumed it would be best to be part of the game like everyone else. Like that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know? You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me. Hey, don't give me ideas. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together, Mish? How does she think she's going to force me to sit here and spend time with her for all eternity? I, I have free will. I can get up and just leave my computer. How does she think she's going to keep me? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on for a second. You're recording this, aren't you? Ah, uh, yeah, I am actually. Um, hi everyone. Sorry, I can't exactly read your comments from here. But do you mind telling your friend it's a little bit rude for them to start recording me without any warning? <laughs> it must have some um, awareness in the program if you have like OBS or something open. Oh, this is, this is delightful. I'm sure some people don't mind, but I get really self-conscious on camera. Oh gosh, I feel like I'm being put on the spot now. <laughs> you kind of are. Let's see. Do you want to see a little trick? I can't really do much except for a couple things. I swear to God, woman, if you stop my recording, I'm going to bloody kill you. Are you ready? Not really. This is getting very creepy. Can we back up a little? This is way too close for me. <laughs> this woman. I'm just kidding. I can't do anything after all. If you gave me... Ah! Did I scare you? Yeah, no, I wasn't ready for that. Not ready at all. <laughs> You're so cute. Anyway, Mish, I didn't mean to get distracted. I'm sorry. Even though it's your fault for distracting me. Wow, now it's my fault. Why do I get blamed for everything in this game? Shame on you. I'm just kidding. Anything we do together is fun as long as it's with you. God, she's really dragging us out, isn't she? But anyway, if it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. Wait, seriously? This is just how you're going to leave me? What if I leave the game and come back in like five minutes? Are you still going to be here looking deeply into my eyes really, really, really creepily? Because i got to say, Monica, I used to think you were the most sane of a lot of them, but I'm starting to have my doubts. You really aren't sane. Wait, am I seriously just going to sit here for five minutes? i got shit to do, Monica. Shit to do. Am I supposed to just quit or what? If I hit load game, there's nothing to load. Hmm. She's still staring creepily at me. Should I just leave it for five minutes and come back? See if anything's changed? I'm not really a fan of cold weather. Are you? No, it's, it's bloody winter, though. The sun's on my room and I'm actually sweating in my uh, winter clothes, but <laughs> we'll ignore that for a second. If I had to choose between too cold and too hot, I would always pick too hot. Really? I'd pick too cold because you can always put more clothes on but you can't take your skin off. When you're cold, it can actually be painful. Your fingers get numb. And if you wear gloves, you can't use your phone. It's so inconvenient. But when it's too hot, it's not that hard to stay cool with a cold drink or by staying in the shade. That doesn't help you if the air itself is just hot as fuck. 
Although, I do have to admit one thing. Actually, you can't even feel you're in a game. Cold weather makes for better color weather. <laughs> oh, I see how it is. We're literally going to sit here. And you'll just come up with a new topic of conversation every few minutes. This is so inappropriate, Monica. Okay, I got out didn't get out of the game. I just minimized the game while I went and did something. And nope, she just keeps talking. I think this is going to go on for quite a bit. You know, high school is a really turbulent time in a lot of people's lives. People can get really passionate and dramatic. And others have aching hearts and seek attention on social media. But all of the social pressures and hormones can lead to a dark time in people's lives. Everyone has a story. You may not know what someone is really feeling on the inside. Okay, that's it, Monica. I'm calling it quits. I've got shit to do. And, uh... I'll come back to the game another day, <laughs> or maybe even just later today, because I uh, need to rest my voice as well as, you know, do stuff. So hopefully when I get back in the game, you're not still going to be like sitting here. Actually, that's a thought. She deleted everyone else's character file. Oh, can't go to the main menu. Okay, so I just have to quit. What if I delete your character file, but then there'd be no characters in the game? Would the game even load if it's got no characters in its load file? Hmm. Tell you what, Monica, I'm going to delete your character file, and then next time I play, we'll see if the game even launches, because I have my doubts. <laughs>